Hello guys, this will show how you can create a temporary viewport or view space construction plane and how it's very beneficial. So it's one of my favorite tools to use here in Plasticity guys and it's very simple. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content guys, it's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, Cyborg Ninjas and much more. So be sure to check that out. So let's say, for example, I create a box here. Let's say I'm kind, of, I'm kind of rotating around here and I think, okay, I just want to cut off this corner right here, right? So if I go ahead and create a line right here and I think, okay, I'll just, I'll just create that there because I want to cut off like that. You see what happens? You get a mess. But if you, if I go around here and I press control space and I forgot this is the, the default hotkey, but you just press F guys to search and you do, for example, CON for construction plane or little bit more so you can see it's called uh, create view space construction plane control space you can uh, right click on that and um, assign a custom shortcut there I've got it set to control space so I press control space all right I go ahead and press shift a that's my hotkey for lines I go ahead and hold control to make sure no snapping is enabled although you can have snapping if you want and let's say just go in here and I create that all right I will now select this press C Select that, right click to confirm. And I can then press GG to move in screen space as well, guys. Just like that, I now have this happening here. So I think you guys can see this is a very powerful tool. We're getting a wide variety of results. And you can get some very nice detailing going here. It's probably more useful for like fantasy and sci-fi shapes, but when you are making the more freeform CAD modeling, this can be a very good technique, especially when for more um you know, extreme sci-fi shapes. It's gonna be very useful to just get a lot of, a lot of, you know, a, a nice segment look to your designs where a, a lot of things are coming out here. It's so like right here. Home down control. Select like that, C. All right, just like that. Select that, Alt X, select right there, there we go. It's also good, guys, if you want to divide your model into lots of pieces. So, for example, I'll go ahead and press GG, and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll press V, put my pivot right there, and then I'll kind of um, GG and kind of snap that right over there. That's how you can attach things back to the original position, guys. So, once again, I'll select this, I'll press G. V to set up a custom pivot right there. And then GG to move. Hold down control for snaps and snap it right there. So then if you do that, guys, you can then take this into an animation program, right? And then have an animation where everything kind of, you know, moves apart. So if you want like some sort of uh, design where things kind of unfold and f fly apart, this could be a good technique for that as well. But my, pr my pr primary purpose for this, guys, is just to create very interesting shapes here. And be able to just to create things from any angle. Uh, you can also use it for things like if I create a sphere here. And let's say I want to create some sort of detail right here. Well, you know, I can create a cylinder on the surface or I can just press, you know, control space and then create uh, several circles here. Oops. You can also press the Alt Z to enable a kind of a slight transparency. So let's say I've got that. Then I can do a little bit of a rectangular array. Now I'll select this, I'll press C, select all of that, right click. Let's see here. We may need to select things individually. Alright guys, just like that, I now have these kinds of pieces here. I can now, for example, select this. Or I can just kind of go on the side here, 
and quickly select from the left and they kind of move that inwards and now I can go ahead and select them all and then kind of QQ moving that back together guys I can just delete all those little shapes and just like that guys it's kind of a fast way of getting you know a lot of details on your shape so guys control space and then if you want to get out of it you simply press the X or I simply start moving again as soon as I rotate it ex exits out of that guys so it's just an amazingly fast fun workflow I'll press uh, B, that's my hotkey for beveling. All right. What I'd like to do, guys, another way, I'd like to go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, align my view. And then I'll, I'll do a little bit of a cutaway, for example, right here. B, D, that for bevel. Select this one. C. Just like that shape, all right. And just like that, guys, I can get these really cool cutaway effects. Or if I don't delete it, I can at least select that and give it maybe a different darker color. Let's change show view that actually supports the colors right here. And just like that, guys, you can quickly create like nice segmented color schemes on your designs. Or just delete it to get this nice cutaway effect. So guys, I think it's very, very interesting, very beneficial for that. So guys, thank you for watching. Take care.